in today's video, I have sandals that will age you. Yes, yes, sandals can age you. Sandals can age you. They can bring down your entire outfit or they can finish it off in a perfect way. So today I have the good, the bad, and the scary. Hey, this is Netta, welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build that dream wardrobe, a wardrobe that you love, that makes you feel confident, that gets you out the door every single day looking and feeling your best. So today I'm going to be talking about sandals. And you know, part of building that wardrobe is right, is picking the right things. It starts at the store because we don't want to wait until we're having to purge things from our wardrobe. We wanna prevent the, the, the bad stuff, the unflattering stuff, the frumpy stuff from getting into our wardrobes to begin with. And that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. I'm on your side. I'm on your team. We're, we're team style here together and we can figure this out by really comparing and, and, and doing some research into what's actually in stores, what's trendy, what's going to be flattering to the foot, what's going to work with a lot of outfits, like all of the things. Um, because let me tell you, it is possible for sandals to age you 100%. And sandals might be one of the more um, age aging shoe categories because there are so many kind of aging sandals out there so i i actually started this video intending to just talk about shoes in general and then i thought it's spring and summer all of the ones i was picking were sandals so i'm like we're gonna just talk about sandals we're just gonna talk about sandals because it's the season for sandals it's sandal season so i have some sandals that will aid you and then i have some alternatives and some of the alternatives are going to be like comparing apples to apples and some are going to be more like comparing apples to oranges but it's based on what's actually available now most of these sandals come from the Nordstrom website. I just picked Nordstrom because it's free shipping, free returns. A lot of people are comfortable shopping on Nordstrom and because they have such a wide variety. So if um, you are new here, definitely hit the like button if this is the type of video you'd like to see. I do a lot of videos on uh, shopping and style over 40, but also making the right choices and avoiding, avoiding frumpy styles and finding those pieces that are really going to work in our wardrobes um, for women over 40, over 50. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely give this video a like and subscribe. We are growing so fast. I was super excited um, that I hit the 5,000 subscriber mark and then it's just like jumped up from there. So I'm very excited and I feel very blessed. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. Now the first sandal category I want to talk about is not really a sandal, but it's a mule, like a, a slip on slide mule. So it's kind of like a backless shoe. And because of that, it kind of kind of goes in the sandal category. All of these happen to be metallic. Um, I didn't plan that it just ended up happening. But I will say and, and let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on shoes that you need for spring and summer, like spring, summer staple, like versatile shoes that I think every woman needs in her wardrobe for spring, summer, because I'm going to say metallic shoe is going to be on that list because it is the most neutral neutral it's very versatile it doesn't pull down your outfits it's just a great pick so I'm going to show you some mules metallic mules that are not cute and then I'll show you some that are cute now this first one is the Olivia peep toe mule from Bella Vida no this is like I don't know what it is like there's so much going on with these shoes they've got the peep toe and then they've got the woven and it covers the whole top of the foot and it's just no balance in that shoe and there's not really an attempt at, at style so I would skip those um, now I'm going to show you two from the same brand one that's good one that's not so trotters this is a comfort footwear brand that many of you like and many of you are comfortable with or familiar with um this is the Uma Mule. This is not a good pick, in my opinion. It's just kind of a, a, a frumpy mule. Like, I don't like the, the heel at all, the modeled finish on the top. It's just not a cute. Um, it's not sleek. It's got, like, too much going on, but not in a modern way. Um, now, if you want funky this is funky i was very surprised to see this from trotters because this is a this is like their version of the gucci shoe from a couple of years ago but the jeanette leather mule this is a more modern version it's got kind of almost like loafer styling at the top and then it's got that fur trim you may like it you may not like it but this is definitely more modern than the uma mule and it's from the same brand trotters so if that's a brand you're comfortable with now i'm going to show you seychelles seychelles is a brand that i really like uh, but there is a, a, a better 
a, a decent option and then a better option. So this is the To Die For Woven Leather Mule. I don't love this as much. I don't like that modeled, I feel like that modeled finish can kind of look a little bit matronly. Uh, it's the same finish that was on that first pair of Trotters mules. I don't love that finish. It's not bad, this is fine, but I think that this um, Vice Metallic Mule, also from Seychelles, is a lot better. It's a better choice. It's sleeker, it's more modern, and it's going to be easier to dress up or down. And the thing about those models finish shoes is that they really are going to look very casual. Okay, now let's get into some really fun metallic mules. This one from Nine West, the, um, I don't know what this one's called, but it's a Nine West mule with a squared off toe. This looks very similar to a Dolce & Gabbana silver mule that I had from like the late 90s and I still have it. My daughter just found it in my closet because it's it's a collector's piece as far as I'm concerned. Um, in the t on the very top of my closet where I put my my like store things that I want to keep forever. So this is so cool. The, uh, this is a Nine West Mule, like I said, very affordable and definitely very, very funky. I also love this Finland pointed toe mule from a brand called Ziggy. I've never heard of them before, but oh my goodness, it's, if this is not me and a mule, like that's just the cutest flat gold mule. I love that. Love that. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more subdued, this is the Visa for pointed toe mule from Franco Sardo. It's breathable. It's comfortable. It's got nice a nice low heel. Some of you have indicated to me that a complete flat shoe is not an option for you. So if you want just a little bit of a heel, this one's really nice and Franco Sardo is known for good quality and, and comfort. Um, I always recommend the Swan Mule from Birdies because it's so pretty. It's so pretty, so pretty. I will say this is not maybe your best pick if you've got really wide feet. I've gotten that feedback from some of you, but I love this Swan Mule. Very pretty, very delicate. Um, and then my last pick in this in this metallic mule category is the EV Mule from Katy Perry. This is very similar to a Chinese laundry pair that I picked up at Marshalls a couple years ago and have worn to death. So I might have to upgrade with these um, EV Mules. I think they're so, so pretty. It's just a great slip on that looks stylish. So you can put it on, it's super comfortable, run out the door and, and it matches everything. And it looks really, really cute. Okay, let's talk about the statement sandal. The statement sandal. There are a lot of statement sandals. I'm just gonna flash, flash one here that I'm obsessed with. Um, it's a collaboration of this brand, and I can't even remember the exact, oh, Prina, Panina Torna for naturalizer. I'm just gonna pop that up there. I might just flash this, I might just flash this sandal up periodically just so you can, you can just, be amazed at its beauty and just uh, like ad admire it with me because it's so stunning. This is a, a collaboration, naturalizer collaboration. Like, oh my goodness. So these these have some comfort features built in. They also come in black lace and white lace, but why would you get any other color but fuchsia? I don't like, I don't understand. Maybe if you're a bride, but otherwise you need the fuchsia. You need these, you need the hot Barbie pink color of these. I love them. So that's a really, really pretty statement shoe, but I'm gonna go back to the shoe that started my, 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 um, um, rabbit hole of statement shoes and that's this pair from L'Amour de Pied. So that means, you know, foot love or whatever. So basically this is a comfort shoe brand, but this is an awful statement shoe. It's it's an awful statement shoe. It's really not cute. It's really not cute. I don't know who that would work for. I mean, I don't even think someone like Iris Apfel, someone with that kind of like creative eclectic style, which I very much love and respond to and have elements of in my own style. I don't even think that person could could pull this off in a really stylish way. So, um, but say you like that style and you like all the multicolors, I would say go with a brand like Kurt Geiger or Jeffrey Campbell or Katy Perry. They all have fun statement shoes, but they're more modern. So this is the Kurt Geiger, the Kensington sandal. It's multicolored metallic slip-on shoe. It's a, it's a statement shoe that's a flat like the L'Amour des Pieds, but it's it's a lot less busy and a, a lot more modern. And that's just really what we're talking about with a lot of these shoes. It's that they're not modern. Either they're not modern or they're not flattering. And this this one is, well, this one's neither modern or flattering, That the, the bad one. But the Kensington from Kurt Geiger is a good option. I'm just, I just have to say this. I just have to say this, the um, Veronica Beard sandal, um, it, I know this is not at all the same thing as a L'Amour de Pied, but look at this sandal, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna flash this up on the screen because we all have to admire the sandal together and just say, ah. If this was my uh, color palette, like if that, those are the colors I would, I would buy that sandal, 
like immediately. It's their Fletcher sandal. It's so, 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 so pretty. Um, this it, Vivian sandal from Katy Perry. This is a nice multicolored sandal. Again, not the same style as the Le Mer de Pied. I, I get it, but it is a fun multicolored sandal. Now, if you want a statement sandal that doesn't have a lot of color, this is the main event crystal statement sandal from Jeffrey Campbell. Comes in a couple of different color options and look at that kind of cool heel. So this is like you know, a statement sandal, but it's still neutral. So if you're looking for a statement sandal, make sure it's a modern one, make sure it's a cool, flattering one, and kind of stay away from the statement sandals from the comfort brands. That would be that would be my guidance. Okay, um, let's look at the clunky comfort sandal. You know how I feel about comfort sandals. I've talked about them over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So this first one is from a brand called Monroe. I don't know why, brands decide that they need to put the word Pisces on their uglier sandals. I'm a Pisces. I'm not a big you know, astrology person, but I am a Pisces, and this is their Pisces sandal, and it is not a cute sandal. It's not a cute sandal. Now, the fact that it's a lighter neutral makes it a little bit better. Like, if the sandal was black, it, it would be even worse, but um, it's not a great sandal. So, let me take you a couple of steps up from that sandal. Now, this Tom's Sydney sandal is a little bit better than that Monroe sandal. So we're gonna go, we're gonna level up with each of these picks, okay? It's not great, but it's better. The, the leather and the details on it, the color of the leather and the details on it make it more modern. Maybe not necessarily more flattering, but more modern. Um, to go back a step, not as cute. Also, the Brandy Platform Slide Sandals from Vionic. These are more on the, on the level of the Monroe. They're black. They've got the two big chunky straps. And, you know, maybe a little bit better than the Monroe because they're definitely a little bit more modern, but, but not as good as the Toms. Um, now, continuing down this path, now you want a better um, comfort sandal. This is the Go-To Platform Slingback Sandal from Nisolo. It's a really good brand new solo. They're, they hand make their shoes, I, I believe, here in the U.S. And um, these are really, really nicely made, good quality shoes. And if you're looking for a comfort sandal, these are going to be a far better pick than the Monroe sandal. They're much more modern. They're beautifully made. Um, they're actually, you know, they're all right around the same price. And they're very, very comfortable. Um, another sandal that I like is the, um, these are from Naturalizer. These are the Nila, Nila ankle strap platform sandals. These have like an espadrille detail. And I think that is so, so pretty. It elevates the comfort sandal. So it takes it from looking like a comfort sandal because it's got that rubber sole and it adds a detail that makes it just look like a pretty spring and summer sandal. So these are sandals that you could dress up or down easily. And as opposed to some of the other, other comfort sandals, which are really going to be a lot more casual. And besides the metallic shoe, that brown shoe, that's the color for for summer, for spring and summer, for pretty much everybody, unless you're cool and then you're going to want to go for gray. But anybody else, that brown shoe is going to be the most, brown sandal is going to be the most versatile and also the most flattering to most legs. Um, that color sandal is just, is just perfection. Okay. And then finally, if you're really looking for a comfort sandal, and you want it to be trendy, the Birkenstock Arizonas. I'm not a Birkenstock person. My daughter is a Birkenstock person. She has these, actually, she's a knockoff version. She doesn't want to invest in the real ones until she can commit to them. But um, this Birkenstock is, Birkenstocks are trendy now. They're super trendy. So if you've liked Birkenstocks and everyone everyone raves about the comfort of Birkenstocks, go for a Birkenstock over, over a traditional comfort sandal from one of those brands that are, that are aimed that do the comfort footwear for women over 40. So just just go for the Birkenstock or go for these um, Nisolo sandals or the Naturalizer ones that I showed you. They are a much better pick for a comfort sandal that will not age you, that will give you that versatility, that will look modern, that will look chic, and that will make all of your outfits cuter. Because let's face it, shoes are what make the outfit. 98% of the time, shoes are what make the outfit. So we need to be intentional about our shoe choices. Okay, the next shoe category that I want to talk about is the braided shoe. Now, 
there's a lot of woven and braided leather shoes in stores right now and there are some really good ones and then there are not so good ones and this is a dicey territory because there are a lot that are just not cute in this category so here's one from easy spirit the meadow slide sandal i i don't probably have to tell you guys that these are not cute they're, these are not cute and even those of you who have something similar in your wardrobe know that they're probably not cute you're just buying them for comfort but i'm going to show you that there are comfortable options that look a lot better um this also I don't even know who makes these these green ones um so they come up so high on the leg i think these are born they come up so high on the top of the foot that they really cut off your foot line um they, they're just they're not cute they're not cute at all so you want to find a cuter woven sandal you like that look maybe you've got little boho or natural or relaxed elements in your personal style you love this look you just want something like this you know for summer um this is from earth which is a comfort footwear brand this is their Hurley woven ankle strap sandal. So this is, um, you know, got a, a, an ankle strap to, to stay on your foot, and then it's got that woven front. It's got a, it's a comfort sole that looks like a cute wedge sole and it's just a great pick this is that brown color that i told you you need for spring and summer that will go with everything so it's a good comfort sandal pick that doesn't look like a comfort sandal and it's a modern braided sandal i also really like these from band of the free the cart the comet woven slipper mule these are so cute these are like the war i never know how to pronounce that word warics or horachis warachis okay i'm just gonna put the word up here because i don't know how to pronounce it but this this has that styling and i think it's really really cool it also comes in solids but i love this black and white i think that's awesome and then this might be a surprising pick from me, but if you want like that really kind of earthy sandal look, um, these Kingfisher Gladiator sandals from Beak, these are pricier. These are beautiful handmade leather sandals that you're going to have for the rest of your life. These are not gonna go out of style um, because they are a statement piece that really represents a personal style, which to me is a little bit more of a boho personal style. But if you love these, these are a great choice. I also like um, another comfort brand is these Geox Etoile woven metallic sandal. This is a great sandal that you can dress up or down. It's got the espadrille detail if you like that. It's a little bit woven at the top. It's a metallic. It checks a lot of boxes and you can wear these uh, in a variety of ways. So if you're traveling, like bringing a pair of sandals like this, they can be walking sandals and then they can also be sandals to wear out to dinner. So just a really versatile choice. Now let's talk about the dress sandal because this is a, this is a challenge for anyone who has foot problems, who has foot issues, who finds themselves looking at Easter or a wedding or something else coming up on the horizon that you know you need a dress for. And you need a pretty dress sandal, but you also need it to, to like be comfortable and to be wearable. So um, the, the dress sandals that I see a lot of times for, for women over 40 have this diagonal strap across the top and sometimes it works, most of the time it doesn't. This is the Vanessa sandal from naturalizer these are not bad but that that is you know that strap that goes across the top of the foot like that is a, a more dated look and you just have to be careful when you're picking a sandal like that another one that's that's worse also from naturalizer is the tamey slim slingback um like it's got that weird strap across the top it's just not modern looking um so we want to we want to find a version of that style that looks more modern and this one from also from naturalizer this is the prina torna for naturalizer that same collection i was talking about with the pink shoes um this is their ahava ankle strap sandal so it's got an ankle strap to keep it on your foot it does have that strap going across the top but look how much more modern and more sleek this is and it's still a comfort brand naturalizer it's still a decent heel where it's not a crazy heel height and something that that i think will be um really wearable and flattering now Let's go back to bad for a second because I forgot this one. This is from Anne Klein, the Genie Crystal Strappy Sandal. Um, black, I, I just want to say a lot of the time, a lot of time, not all the time, but black sandals that have crystals on them like that are, are, are going to look dated and look mature and look not cute. I don't know why it is. It just is what it is. And these are just not cute. So these are, um, from, like I said, these are from Anne Klein and I, these are a definite pass for me. Now, couple more really pretty dressy sandals. This is the Gemma sandal from, oh, Jenny sandal, sorry, from Jewel by Badgley Mishka. Badgley Mishka makes really, really nice, affordable um, evening shoes that are wearable. And this is a really, really pretty style. This looks very similar to a Jimmy Choo pair I have that I've had for years and I've worn forever. So if you buy a pair like this, you'll be able to wear it with every dressy thing you have for the next 10 years, pretty much. Like anything dressy that that is in spring and summer that you can wear a sandal to, you can wear these shoes. They're that 
versatile. Another pair that's uh, equally versatile, these are the Thena ankle strap sandals from Naturalizer. These are a little bit more casual. You can dress them up, you can dress them down a little bit more. They're not an evening exclusive sandal, but these are a really pretty metallic sandal that's gonna be really versatile and it's going to go with a lot of the things in your wardrobe. Um, another one I really like, the, this leather ankle strap sandal from Naturalizer. Uh, this has, you know, it's just, it's a great evening sandal that is made out of leather instead of satin, if that's your preference. And it has that ankle strap to keep it on. It's got a decent heel height. Um, and I think that that's a really good pick. Now, just a perennial pick from Naturalizer is this Vera, very similar to the style I just showed you, the Vera ankle strap sandal. Naturalizer does this sandal in every color, in every finish. It comes out year after year after year. It's a great dress sandal that's comfortable, that it's a good heel height, that, that checks all of the boxes. Keep in mind, um, if you are concerned about your legs looking wider or, or shorter, you want the ankle strap to be close to the color of your skin. But it does help your legs, the, the sandal to stay on your foot. If you've got, you know, any kind of balance issues or anything like that you want it to stay on your foot you can do the ankle strap just keep it close to your skin tone maybe in a lighter tone or maybe not in this pretty bright orange but if you don't you know if you're not concerned about that then definitely go for the color Okay, um, one more. The, this is the Vera in, in a wedge. So wedges are back, and if you do not find the black heel sandal either to your liking or you don't find them comfortable, you might want to consider this same sandal silhouette in a wedge. It comes in a couple of different colors. It's really, really pretty, and, and wedges are so walkable, especially those of us going to outdoor events. A wedge is the way to go, right? Um, you don't want to get your heels stuck in the grass. Okay. Let's talk about flat slide sandals. So let's just say no to the rubber slide sandals. I don't care if they're from Gucci like this one is. This is a Gucci rubber slide sandal. These are so frumpy and so, they look so not cute on the foot. They're just not cute. They're not cute on the foot like when your foot is in them. They don't look good in them. They're also exclusively casual. They make frumpy clothes look frumpier and they make cute look clothes look less cute and they have the opposite effect of elevating your outfits they pull everything down and again i don't care if they're gucci or if they're from target they're going to have the same effect they're like they, they look like you're walking in cement blocks and it's not a good look speaking of cement blocks look at these from adidas the adelette ayun sport slide no no these are very trendy and i'm cautioning you against them they are just not cute these are a little bit better Again, named after my zodiac sign, the Pisces Chill Slide from Dr. Scholl's. A little bit better because they're a little bit less chunky, but still, they're just not cute. So let's find a flat slide sandal that is cute. Now, if you guys haven't haven't seen the um, Bay cutout slides from Sam Edelman. These are the shoes that everyone has been wearing for the last five years. These are a kind of a dupe on the Hermes slides, but they are such good quality. They're very, very, very comfortable as many of my Asia Style program members can attest to. They're very comfortable. They come in a wide variety of colors. Um, and this is just a perennial shoe. Doesn't seem to be going anywhere. They're still in style. So definitely the base sandals from Sam Edelman, just a great comfortable option to those like rubber sport sandals. Now, if you like that kind of rubber puffy look, but, you, but you're listening to me and you don't want to go for the Adidas or the Gucci, then these Beak Sugarbird slide sandals, these are obviously a sleeker version of those rubber slide sandals and I think these are a really really nice choice um I love these um uh, Tory Birch brown again this is that color that I told you about that brown for spring and summer these these slide sandals from Tory Birch are so so elegant and beautiful obviously a little bit more premium speaking of premium if you want a pair of Gucci slide sandals and I told you to stay away from the rubber slides you want these instead the interlocking G cutout slide sandal I in love with these I'm actually in love with these and I'm not that the, the person who's always like I want that trendy or I want that um designer version like I don't care that much I just care about what I like and these I like these are so so cute the cut out Gucci slide sandals love these last one the Luffler Randall these are really comfortable they stay on your feet really really well these are their this is their flat version of that sandal that has been their probably their best-selling sandal for the last five years so they have a block heeled version of this and this is the flat version of this bow metallic lame sandal um, so a slide sandal is a great idea and and it should consider the one of these leather slide sandals your new flip-flop. Consider it your new flip-flop for summer and wear one of these instead of a flip-flop. They're just as comfortable 
a lot more versatile and a lot more elegant. Okay, speaking of flip-flops, I live in a state where, where in order to cross over the border into Florida, you have to prove that you have a pair of black chunky rubber flip-flops. You have to wear rubber flip-flops. And if you're going to church or you're going to a wedding, you still wear your flip-flops. You just dress them up a little. Maybe you have black sparkly rubber flip-flops. I hate. The only thing I think I, I hate more than a black chunky rubber flip-flop is an embellished or sparkly flip rubber flip-flop like no 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 they're so bad they're so bad um these are a hundred dollar pair i don't they just look like all the ones that you get at the at the um surf shops here in florida i don't know why they're a hundred dollars they're not cute so um here's a, here is the lucia crystal flip-flop from bionic this is an example of a not cute flip-flop so the black rubber flip-flops are a pass but also the comfort flip-flops are a pass if you want a comfort flip-flop Go for the Birkenstock, not these from Vionic, the Lucia Crystal flip-flop. I was going to name my daughter Lucia. I was Eva was going to be a Lucia, and then she would have had these flip-flops named after her, and they're not cute. Um, okay, these from the Olala flip-flops from Ufos. These comfort really thick. I see women wearing these all the time. These are, you know, if you're if you're wearing them to go on a walk or to do something like athletic-y, fine but like do, these are not like to wear with shorts to go out to dinner these are not cute at all at all um so if you want a comfort flip-flop that does not look like one of those flip-flops let me point you to this eye cushion flip-flops from fit flop these are especially in the lighter color they've got a cushiony sole and these are a much better fit flop than the ones from a few years ago that looked again like you're wearing cement blocks on your feet so this in, in a lighter color it's got that cushiony sole it's going to be a better and more streamlined fit flip flop and it's going to work with outfits better than like the black rubber ones i also really like the archies flip flops if you need arch support and you know that's a, a big part of comfort for many women in their shoes these archies flip flops are only forty dollars um they have arch support and they're a cool sleek flip flop they look like the havaianas um or the ipanemas like one of the trendy flip flop brands but they do have more comfort features built in and that arch support that i know is critical for a lot of women um now, I never thought I would say I like the flat platform flip-flop, but these from Tory Burch, these are super cute. They come in a couple of different color uh, combinations, and I love these. Now, if you're going to do a platform flip-flop, skip the black one and do this one from Tory Burch. I think it's really, really cute. And then finally, if you want to go up a step from the flip-flop, go for a leather thong sandal. This is the Fallon um, crystal embellished sandal from Naturalizer. Now notice the difference between these crystal embellished sandals and then the, the bionic ones earlier. Like these are a sleek and this is a sandal. It, you, it, it's, you can't call it a flip-flop except for the fact that it's backless. It's not a flip-flop. It's a thong sandal and, and it's definitely a step up. So maybe consider swapping out your flip-flops for one of these prettier leather versions or at least a sleeker rubber version that is equally comfortable to what, you, what your go-to is already. Okay, um, another, this is another one. Last flip-flop sandal. This is the Paris sandal from Dolce Vita. I love this one. It does have that, that band across the top of the foot, which can help hold the sandal in place if that's something that you struggle with. So that's another good, like, thong sandal option that is not a flip-flop. Okay, now let's talk about strappy sandals. I'm going to start by showing you a bad strappy sandal. This one I think is from Tom's, but it's got, it's it's like a bad gladiator. It's a gladiator, but without style. I don't know. It's got these black straps crisscrossing the top of the foot. This is just going to close off your foot. It's not really cute. It's not chic. It's not, it's just not something that, that is going to be that versatile or it's not awful, but it's not cute. And you're going to see some better options here. So this one from Madewell, this is the ankle, their ankle strap sandal in this light brown color. This is so pretty and so classic and really something you can have for a really long time. Um, and I think that's a very, very pretty option. Now I'm going to show you some, some 
strappy sandals that have very very thin soles and very thin straps and are barely there style which i think is so pretty and so feminine and and so delicate looking um and then i'm going to show you some that are going to hold on to your foot a little bit more and maybe have a little bit more of a sole for those of you who need that so for one that has a little bit more of a sole the gwen sandal from sam edelman this is really really pretty it's a gladiator sandal but it has really pretty styling again it's a metallic sandal i told you metallic is so so versatile for spring and summer um this Aid Ella metallic sandal. This is a very delicate, very strappy sandal. Looks like the Dolce Vita brown ones that I bought last summer and I'm obsessed with. Um, very, very pretty, very delicate. Like if you if you have you know pretty feet or delicate feet and you like that look on your feet, like I would go for that. My feet are eight and a half, so they're not super delicate for my size, <laughs> for my five two size, but um, those are super, super pretty. Um, the, the Shoots is one of my favorite shoe brands. I talk about them all the time, but these are the Morea flat sandals and um, these look like they're slip-on style but these are again a strappy metallic sandal that is a really really pretty option i'll show you a couple of others this brandy sandal from vince camuto this is a great kind of gladiator style sandal it's in a brown um and it's 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 just cool it's a little bit boho it's it's just a cool choice for a strappy sandal um, oh, I have a lot here and it's, it's hard for me to narrow it down. I really, really like these um, espadrille sandals. They call them the slingback espadrille sandals from Tory Burch. These are so, so pretty, so pretty. And I have other strappy sandals for you to check out in my catalog. I always have a catalog and a blog blog post linked in the description box below. So when you go to the title of this video, if you click more, it will open up the description box and you'll see a blog post if you prefer to read rather than watch. You can, you, and if you wanna see all of my picks in one place, go to the blog post. And then if you wanna shop easily, go to my catalog link. I'm also on Like to Know It now, so um, follow me on Like to Know It. I'll put that link in the description box as well. So it makes it really easy to shop some of the finds that I share with you guys. Okay, that was it. That was my roundup of sandals for spring and summer. I hope that this was helpful. We covered a lot of ground. We talked about sports sandals. We talked about comfort sandals. We talked about dress sandals. We talked about flip-flops. We talked about all the sandal styles that trip us up, literally, figuratively, but literally, um, and trip us up for spring and summer. And, and the ones that are going to be the go-tos, the new favorites, the ones that are going to work really well in your wardrobe, and then the ones that maybe are going to bring your outfits down or not going to have that versatility or not have that longevity. So I hope you found this helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you, if you haven't subscribed already, like absolutely subscribe. Everybody's doing it. And it's free and we have the best time here so definitely subscribe comment below let me know what your sandal struggles are and if there's a category that i missed in this video that you'd like to see me do in a future video and if you want me to do a video of my 10 top sandal picks or something like that let me know in the comments always love hearing from you guys um, i so appreciate you hanging out with me on youtube and i will see you in the next video